Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, this is Fallen, uh, from irc.liquidbabble.com, uh, also from YouTube, The Fallen Tech. Uh, I'm here to talk about a window manager slash desktop environment called Fluxbox. Um, I've used this for most of my Linux life. I started out with Ubuntu like pretty much anybody else, and I instantly went to Arch, just really because of the way that everything works. Now, um, obviously I'm using Fluxbox, but the thing is, a lot of people who use Fluxbox do not know about the amazing amount of customization abilities you have with Fluxbox. <coughs> Forgive me. <coughs> um, basically, you can change anything in the menu. You can change your entire style. You can make your own style if you really want to. Um, you know, if you were to navigate into your .fluxbox menu in your home directory, you'd have a bunch of different directories, right? Different folders, like... Uh, menu, last wallpaper, apps, FB run history, and like startup. Those are the main ones I use, as well as keys, but that's just my own opinion. Um keys is really is really, really well really used because I use Alt F one to open up a new terminal, as you can probably tell. Yeah. Um and that's really handy for me. Um so if I were to bluefish keys Sorry if that's really hard to see there. Um, you know, you've got all your things. So click on the desktop to get menus. On desktop, click mouse, hide menus, and works as menu and root menu. Um, down here, you got your extra stuff. So open a terminal is mod1, f1, which means execute your xvt, and then my options. Um, but that's just my own opinion. On um, You could use eterm, which a lot of people like to use, or you could use gnome terminal, which a lot of people like to use, or even uh, terminator. Uh, but I'm here to show you exactly what these customization abilities can do. And there's a lot of different things they can do. You can edit your own styles, which I did here, obviously. Um, but uh, I think my main one that I use is menu because I hate using the the normal flexbox dash generate underscore menu because a lot of the apps that I use do not have a you know basic menu thing like they do not show up in the menu Google Chrome Chromium that does not show up in the menu and I love Google Chrome so of course you have to go in and edit yourself which is really easy uh, if you were to bluefish or VIM or nano or jedit whatever editor you like to use um, the menu thing and you just take a look at it, a quick little glance, it's really, really simple. Um, basically, it's all in plain text. So, you got your, in brackets, ex exec, which means executable, and then your, uh, what you wanted to call your executable, and then the actual command of the executable itself. Uh, Chromium, or, uh, in my case, whining Guild Wars. Uh, and then that's the simplest thing. Uh, one second. If you were to go back, you could actually see submenus as well. So, um, your terminal submenu, your net submenu, your editors, your multimedia, your office, your games, stuff like that. Um, you could easily add anything you wanted in there as well. Um, or you could take anything out. If I don't want links, take that out. And I've used links anyway, so it doesn't. No, it no longer shows up as links graphic, which is really, really, really simple and easy. Um, another thing is. Uh, Unlike uh, Ubuntu or most, or even KDE, there's no actual way to set wallpapers. So you'd have to use eTerm. You'd have to have eTerm anyway because you have to use FB.PG. And how you do this is, let's just say um, uh, you're in your home directory. Oh my God! Uh, and you were to FB.PG something like this. Right, and what that does is after after that's done, uh, and you go to your dot box menu, uh, you'll see that there's last wallpaper. And if you were to cat last wallpaper, it would show that I had actually just catted, or uh, I had just set Microsoft Nation in slash home slash fallen. And so whenever you actually reset, or you know somehow you've randomly had to reboot or 
whatever happened if you had to exit X. Um, the moment you return to Vax of Flexbox or even reset Flexbox, it'll always show back up as Microsoft Nation, which I generally like because I do not like to have to FB set VG every single time I enter, which would suck. Um, again, this has been Fallen. I hope this has helped any of you uh, Fluxbox noobs. Um, you can, again, catch me at irc.liquidbabble.com, so I'll give it over here. irc.liquidbabble.com, and slack off. Um, once again, thank you. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. I'll be making a lot more videos, uh, and a lot more topics of videos as well. Um, send me a link uh, on YouTube if, to your own channel. I'll subscribe back. And uh, any ideas that you actually have, you can come in and talk to me either on the channel or you can find me on YouTube. Thank you, and... Uh